Today, I take on one of the toughest venues on the PGA Tour in another Scratch Golfer episode. This is a course I've wanted to play all my life. Narrow fairways, gusting wind, an incredible setting which reeks of history. Harbour Town Golf Links. I feel like this course is owing me something. Widely regarded as one of the tour's most challenging and popular courses. I honestly don't know how you can break path around this golf course. This is the craziest wind I've ever seen. I'm gonna have to be thinking on every single shot. Our score goals are set for what is going to be my hardest challenge yet. I will be tested to the extreme Strap yourselves in. <laughs> this is either going to be the greatest day of golf you've ever seen on YouTube or potentially the worst. Let's find out together. First hole, off the tips. Nick, come, come on, come on, Nick. Let's, let's introduce Nick early, because this man, this glorious human being, this example of caddying excellence is going to guide me around Harbour Town like a St. Bernard, and I'm being lost on the mountain of golf. Um, 410 from the tips. We've obviously got the medals to go for, gold, silver, bronze. Oh, what are we thinking about, driver or? I think driver's good. Is this the tightest golf course in the world? Just about. It's pretty tight up there. This is probably one of the tightest holes in the course. Okay. I think I'd be more confident about today if the wind also wasn't absolutely blowing about 30 <laughs> miles an hour. I think I might try and just try and keep a lot of shots low today, mate. Try and keep it under the <laughs> level good, of the trees. Good, good plan. Well, I moved it right. Should be safe there. Should be safe. I've got a feeling that the sound of rustling trees is going to be a common occurrence today. Just off the right side of the fairway. But I should have a shot in as long as it's not right behind a tree. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nick laughs. <laughs> uh, he has a merry chuckle at my expense and only hit one shot. <laughs> this is either going to be the greatest day of golf you've ever seen on YouTube or potentially the worst. Let's find out together. You know what these trees are called, Nick? These? these are live oak trees. Lime oak. Live oak. Live oak. I can yeah. tell the live, but what kind of oak? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, one, six, two, off an upslope does not help. I think probably most important today, Nick, as well, just let me know where I'm missing. Short right or long left. See, that's two opposite sides of the green, you know exactly. what I mean? That's kind of like confusing me. But you can be long, you can be short, short right and short or long right. I would go for the big water tower and just come off of that. Okay. I'm going to use this a little bit of a, a little bit of a test as well. So 162, now that's like a 99. Nine. So 172, that'll be a seven into this win. I'm going to literally go down to a five and just try and chip and fade it. I like that. Uh, there's that's going to be a, a lot idea. of that today, just trying to keep it out of the wind. So I'm going for this gap where the water tower is. Perfect indication of where the wind is blowing there. And I'm just going to let it leak. There's that wind. Keep coming. Great shot. Thank you. So well, I was getting a little bit worried because that was, that was not coming in. Thank you very much. I th that might be your first green regulation. These greens look absolutely impeccable. Nick, let's get into a bit of a routine, okay? So I'm starting to aim point and it's been helping me immeasurably. And then I say to you, well, I feel this is going to be obviously a little bit uphill off the right hand side. Uh, yep. Gentle I'm break right. all the way. Is that kind of what you're seeing or do you say, Pete, you're an idiot? I agree with you. Cool. Get much effect on the grain on these greens, mate, or? This is with the grain. With the grain. Been having a lot of fun with grain these last few days. <gasps> that hurts. That really hurts. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Harbour Town uh, literally just took a run up and swung a big steel capped boot right in between the old thighs on that one so it's a par you know what but we'll, we'll take a par a par is fine uh 80 more of those and then the move for nick faldo perfect round so 550 yards on this par five the actual normal blue tee is only 500 just have a look at this t-shirt like what 
on earth is going on here? Got to hit through like an overhanging tree, keep it low. Wind still coming off the left hand side. So I'm going to try and hit a low one again. I would like to try and hit a normal one, but that tree is like literally right in the gap, as are those people. Right then, come on, par five, let's try and get a birdie. Oh, I ripped that. Absolute stonker funk. Well, that was a bit of pressure, wasn't it? Literally just stopped all the Harbour Towns traffic for that tee shot. Mind you, that would have gone straight through the window with that ram if I'd have hit it. So. <laughs> Obviously, I've never played here before and it can kind of give us a bit more information. It feels like the kind of course where I'm going to have to be thinking on every single shot. This isn't a bomb and gouge type of affair, this is it. Every shot's going to have something in the way. Physically or emotionally. Uh, that's, that's me being brutally honest. We, we value your honesty on this channel, Nick. We're not here to... <laughs> We're not here to pussyfoot around. You know, we want the honest truth. It's 257 pin from here. There's yeah. a bunker sitting right in front of the pin and one directly behind it. It misses out to the left. Out to the left. Toward uh, Arnold Palmer's flag. Okay. There's an umbrella down there. See oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> Confused me for yeah. a minute. That 257. Where's this wind going? Looks like it's going that way with the clouds. It's still kind of moving a little left to right. <laughs> I mean, it's not just me. That the clouds way. are going that way, right? Keep throwing the... Oh, now it looks like it's going the other way. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unbelievable. Fluctuates a lot. Bit swirly. Bit swirly. Okay, so we have no idea what the, wind, what the wind's doing. The flag is still left to right. Just got to avoid that tree. So Arnie's flag over the palm tree. Avoid the live oak. This just has the makings of an all-time shot, this. Be good. Get the hell off it, wind. Oh my God. Well, it's fine, but that got battered. That wind carried that a long way. Wow. That got like halfway to the green and I thought we were kind of high-fiving on an albatross getting straight back to the bar, but. 43 yards. Waste area. This is a waste area, you can ground your club. It's very firm. It is very firm. I don't really know if it's firm enough to play it as a, a normal shot, especially with that bunker there. So it's either like a massive explosion and risk it bouncing or hit like a normal shot and risk it digging. And wind's in the face now. Well, see this is like, look, look, like wind's in our face here. Yeah. And it's downwind. Yeah. On the green. Yeah. It's 40 yards away. Like, how are we meant to figure this out? We'll be all right. Don't you worry about it. Absolutely. So I could probably play this more like a, like a normal shot, just try and use the bouncer touch on that. So it's not going to dig. So 43 yards, half a swing with a slightly open face. Use the sole, skim it through. Just try and land it over that bunker, try and get a bit of stop. Can't see the bottom of the pin. Oh, it's a thumbs up from Jacob. And if you've been watching the vids for a while, Jacob gives thumbs up very seldom. A thumbs up from Jacob is like getting a three star Michelin rating. Good. And it is good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Wow. All right, it's not too bad. We have our first birdie of the day. Great putt. Wow. Nick enjoyed that aggressive little fist pump. <laughs> this is good news. One under. <laughs> RBC Heritage. Did somebody say sponsor's invite? No. <laughs> Nobody said it. <laughs> We're again off the tips, off the tournament tees, and it has increased the overall length of this hole when compared to the normal blue tees by 80 yards. We have 470 yard par four. Look how tight it is, but it's okay. This is an incredible driver. A caddy that I trust implicitly has handed it to me. What more information could I need? Not exactly. Straight down. Keep your head up. Right off the toe, that. What's over there, but nothing good. I think it might be okay. Might be okay? Might be okay. <sighs> Awful. Awful. It's not left me in an ideal position. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Nick emerges from behind the tree like an explorer. How far we got, bud? 183. Well, I think this through logically. We're not like, we're not going to win 
or lose any medals this early on. So shall I just chip out? I could try and snap hook it around, but. You got a lot of room out to the right side. That uh, that tree, that pine tree down there is 170. Oh, the one on its own. The one right there short of the bunkers. Ah, so now you're saying I should probably go for it. I'd play it safe. You'd play it safe? Play it safe. Okay. Give it a nice little 150 shot. My man. Appreciate that, thank you. So just kind of like play just to the right of that. Yeah, just that a little way. to the right of that, about 150. It's beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. I'd absolutely love to say I meant to draw it that much. I believe you did. <laughs> but I really didn't. Uh, so that's <laughs> going to leave you just a, a chip on rather than a pitch on, which is fantastic news. Come on. Kind of tricky, this one. Uh, 30 yards downwind. Green's pretty firm. I think it might even just land this short of the green. I think if I fly it all the way, I don't think it's going to stop very quick on that, is it? It's going to be pretty quick coming off of that hill. So maybe try and chip it up onto that slope and then just like... Yeah, down. I like I like the bump and run. Just going to use a lob wedge. I don't want it firing through. I kind of want to hit it onto there. Stop it just a touch and then let it dribble. Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. Do the good news or the bad news? It's good news. Good news. I yeah. struck that unbelievably well. You did. Might actually be the best chip shot I've struck in about four years. Do you want the bad news? What's the bad news? It's just a terrible it's shot. It's a terrible shot. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, swings around about, doesn't it? You know what I mean? So uphill off the left. I'm just going to keep talking until Nick says, no, you're a moron. Got that little slope there. Looks like it's going to move in. Fair bit. It's just shouldn't do the pace. If I blast it through the first half of the putt, it's just going to like carry on. So I've kind of got it coming up here. Yeah, I like it. I like out here. I think as it gets, it's going to flatten, but. Go, 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 go. Oh, I think that first hole kind of maybe scared me a touch, but. Weirdly enough, after that tee shot, a bogey on there is probably not the worst result. I did get very lucky with it, so it's fine. We'll take it. Still level par, aren't we? Absolutely. Keep it steady. Hold the line. Here and this this wind is absolutely pickling our gherkins right now. Although actually, you no, know, a gherkin is a pickled cucumber, isn't it? This is pickling our cucumbers. It's 195 yards to the pin, but the wind is kind of like behind, off the left and off the right. I'm thinking a really strong eight iron would do the job, but there's water literally all around this green to the left and the right. So I'm going to take a seven, aim for the center of the green, just right of the pin. Still very early in the round here. Don't need to make any rash decisions. Nick has talked me out of doing something really stupid, I think. Just very good at it. So we're going to go just right of that pin. Wow. You know, I think on a scale of one to 10, that was about a 12 on the bailout scale. That was not getting wet. That. That was not getting wet. I take was, that all day. That was. I'm, I'm sorry you didn't have to see that, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just absolutely wimped out of that so badly. It's actually one of the reasons I uh, missed the screen on the right hand side. I had no intention of going near that dinosaur, uh, which is to the left of this hole. What an absolute beauty. Very, very safe. I remember this uh, hole from like the tournament and the camera's normally stationed like back up there on a tower and it looks right back down this hole and it always looks like one of the most intimidating tee shots. Just straight down across the green? I'd probably putt it if I was you. Say again? You'd probably putt it? I would, if it was me. Okay, I can see what you mean. Must admit, if it's off the green, I don't normally go for a putter, but why, why would you say put rather than chip? Uh, we are into the grain here. Okay. It's harder to chip off this stuff. When okay. you put it, you can give it enough pace and it'll still slow down short of the cup. <laughs> what? what? When in doubt, listen to Nick. 
Nick knows all. He is the Oracle. He's practically Morpheus, okay? And I'm his little, little prodigy Neo. Well, I will take a part on that par three all day long. That is a super duper intimidating tee shot, that. Honestly, your bust might be the firmest one ever done in my life. It's like bumping an anvil, that. <laughs> <laughs> 560 yards straight back into the draft par five dog leg to the left it's going to take like a little low draw here i'm nicely lined up i don't know who the, the green keeper is here but thank you very much for this alignment aid on this tee absolutely beautiful i'm just going to try and hit a low draw try to keep it below the level of the trees Well, it's all right, fairly safe. I mean, with this wind, it's probably not gonna be a two-shotter anyway, is it? But it's gonna be about 300 yards back into wind. We're all right though, aren't we? You know what, still ticket. It's a great. 310 yards. Probably not going for it in two. Um, where's my point? Where's my layup point here? You could be just, just left of this big bunker on the right side. Yeah. Basically going out towards those two bunkers on the left side of the green. Okay. That's a good line to stay on. The water, comes out to about right at the edge of the waste bunker over there on the left side of it. Okay, yeah. So you got all that room out there. There are no bunkers on the right side of the green. Okay, cool. So you can be anywhere just in between that. You just don't want to be in that bunker on the right side. Just basically something that's going to finish short of that then. Right. I'm in to win. Just going to hit like a little punchy five. Beautiful. Yeah, safe, but I just, I just want to really like be a proper plotter around this course. I want to come off thinking, you know what? I've done everything right here. I've not done anything too stupid. It just feels good. It yeah. just feels good to be an adult. <laughs> like a fully grown person. Didn't think I'd get this far. Pins in the back. It's kind of here, but it's just switching all the time. Mm -hmm. See, now it's going that way and the wind's kind of on this side of my face. Definitely give it extra 10 yards. So play one, three, five. Mm -hmm. One, three, five, playing it under the wind. Well, a bit lower. Um, thinking like a little nine, maybe, just like a little draw onto it. I'm gonna start this in between the two pines on the right hand side. Little nine, nine, tiny draw. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was very good. That was pretty good. That was almost like a golf shot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you see, I, like all through that, talked it out, hit the shot. It worked. Oh, I love oh. golf sometimes. Love golf, love this place. You guys, thank you. If you did enjoy that shot, make sure you uh, take this opportunity to absolutely wallop that like button with unbridled enthusiasm. It is only through your continued support and happiness with the videos that we produce that we are able to visit such fine establishments and hang out with such exemplary people. Exemplary people. It's left to right. Yeah, it's just a whisper off that side, isn't it? Yeah. Massive amount of grain. Things it slows, it might move a touch more. Yeah, it's just slightly off the left side, left edge. Mm. Just never quite got it. Never quite got it started online then. Well, it's a five, but can I hope for a little bit better after that second shot? Can't hold them all though, can you? No, you cannot. You know what I mean? Birdied every hole, we'll be here in the actual event. We're not going to be doing that. Enjoy making YouTube videos too much. I kind of feel it's a little bit downwind, so I'm just going to hit my 19 degree hybrid. 420 yards in total. We're thinking if this trundles out a touch, second's going to be downwind as well. Although, Very you nice. are bringing something out in the Nick, which I didn't know was there. <laughs> a little bit of calmness, a little bit of peace. A little bit of confidence. Yeah, it's a little bit of like serenity. I've, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'll give you a bit. No, I got you. An extra yeah. few kilograms to carry that. <laughs> Such a cool course. Like this is quickly like getting into my, getting into my top 20. Snuck into my top 20. Is it going to get higher? I don't know. How far we got here, mate? 154. 
154. And it's downwind now. Downwind off the right. Yes. So that would say to me, normal pitching wedge. That's now into. I think I would go up a club. Feels into, doesn't it? I think so. I play it like 165. Oh. I probably play it like 170. You gotta trust it. I was gonna hit a little, little seven. Yeah, just try and hit like a draw in there. And the start is on the right edge of the green. So they move round. Try and finish it left of the pin so it's a little bit more of a knuckle putt. Sit down. Oh. Ooh. I might go quite close to Jacob, but now this is a problem. Just in the bunker, and it is all downhill to the pin. Ooh, this is going to take some flexibility on my part. Actually, it's what I'm famous for. Um, it's literally just has to, if, if I want to get it close, it's almost just got to clamber out of the bunker and then just feed down. Not ideal, is it? Joke. Right. Oh, I feel I've been done there a little bit. I just hate stuff like that. It's really annoying. Well, that is a six from literally nowhere. Like what? What's just happened? What just happened there? Uh, that was, that was uh, two really hard shots in a row. Let's tell you that. I believe first T bar. I am miffed after that last hole. Just saying, it, it felt like I've been too nice about this course and it's just like decided to bite back. It's okay, I've been playing steady, literally just got unlucky. So we've got 195 on this par three, another beauty, water, surrounded by a bunker. I'm gonna trust my orange this time hitting A time. It's 175 to clear the front bunker and it's downwind. So I think an A time is the call. It looks okay. Just right of the pin, maybe? Yeah. I I think it bounced left. Yeah, it yeah. bounced left towards the pin. i got to be honest, as soon as I looked up, uh, the sun's breaking through. My corny is a scorch now. Yeah, it kind of feels like it's slightly right to left. It's somewhere like out here. Precisely where I've got it, mate. Precisely where I've got it. Wow, that slowed wow. so fast. That wind held it up. That great line as well. He just slowed. Like. Yeah, that was a great line. Right, another par. Yes, sir. You know, what? I've, I've got. To, I've just got to say a little bit. We just got to be positive. Yeah. That that last hole was an abom abomination, <laughs> an aberration. <laughs> it was both an abomination and an aberration. But we have to acquiesce to. The eternal rules of good golf. You just got to forget about what happened in the past. Focus on the future. This is nothing we can do about that hole now, except focus on what we do next. If you have a look down this hole, you'll notice, like just on the edge of this tee, something which I would like you to do, and that's subscribe. If you haven't already, we're on the march to 700,000 subscribers. It would be great to have you along. It's only with your support that we can get to come to incredible places like this. So if you have subscribed already, honestly, thank you. Thank you so much. We've got 470 yards here. Stroke index one. Uh, the wind off the par three is coming this way. I've got to aim at those two trees, which make a V shape. Hit a little bit of a draw off those to that live oak, which is certainly a bit of a waste area. Hold it, wind. Oh, did not fancy whipping that round then. And I whipped out of it a touch. It's going to be a long second now, wow. Such a very, it's such an inviting tee shot, that as well. <laughs> I thought when we came over, we'd have a decent chance. 
What is that doing there? How far we got? 224 pin. That is that is also not ideal. 224 yards. 224? Really? 224. Oh, they're a decent drive then. Wow, this is... What the hell do I do here? Like the obvious answer is trying to just to hit a cut. Those grandstands on the right there, I suppose if I kind of go into those, that's going to be a free drop, isn't it? Nowadays. Yes. yes. So 224, is that pin at the back? That pin is dead back. If I try and hit like a high cut five around this over that tree and then back, don't like it. Sorry, boys. I think I might just like, I think I might just chip out, mate. I'm, 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 re I'm really sorry. I, Obviously, it's, we, can, it's... we can cut this down a bit, but that's such a risky shot. If I just chip out to the fairway there. Yeah, you get past the waste bunker, it's uh, about 120 yards, 110, 120. Sorry, everyone. I know that wasn't very YouTube-y of me, but I want to try and get a good score here. So 142, because the pin's in the back. So I'm thinking again, just like a wedge, just to the right edge of the green. And just let it move around to the left to touch. Great shot. Thanks. Just, it's kind of the point of this year is to try and be a, uh, a little bit more sensible. Try to think through shots just that a little bit more. And that's, I would say, give me the best option and the best opportunity to get a par after that tee shot. Really, really, really want to hold this. No boss for that. <laughs> <laughs>so we're going to go driver basically at the clock on the clubhouse let you draw a touch let's get it up there as close as possible there's a few bunkers around the front of that green but that's no issue come on good driver go on then go on then go 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 uh, it's okay just towed it so it dropped out of the air a little bit but it's okay it's yeah. a draw i think it was great it's kind of, it's weird, like, my driving's actually been pretty decent recently, but it feels like uh, I'm clinging onto the club, like, a little bit tighter around here. Right. And just, like, feeling like I've got to steer things a touch more. It's got to, like, free myself up a little. The front bunker, obviously quite a tight pin here, so it's kind of like a lot of loft. Just let the club kind of, like, bounce into the sand. Ball pop up. We're looking at just getting it on the edge of the green, letting it release out. Maybe touch left to right when it lands? Yeah, it's a little left to right. Go oh, there. Too bad, bit of a misread. <laughs> okay, close out that front line with birdie. That's almost, I think, the first time where I felt actual, what's the word? Confidence. A little bit of confidence, but also a little bit where a certain amount of power could give a big advantage. Like literally every other hole on here has been accuracy. That, because we've got some space here and there, I felt I could yeah. bash it a bit more. Absolutely. But no, that's good, birdie. Come on, let's keep this going. Uh, Temp hole here, 450 yards, sweeping dogleg from right to left off these uh, back tees. All right, so I'm going to take dead aim at the tree in the background, bit downwind. Come on, let's get these driving boots back on. Off the wind. Definitely on the safe side, but good feeling about this nine. Because the wind just dies a little bit more 
think it stayed pretty consistent in this direction. Kind of need to just trust it's going to be there as well. 138, wind off the left. Do not like that big tree there. The pin is a little bit down. I'm just going to trust in the golf gods. Come on then, let's just make it work. Let's make it happen. Get off it, wind. Get off it, get off it. Yeah, front right. Again, it's apex wind just. Yeah. Kind of took it that way. It's not a bad shot though. Green reg. It wasn't uh, much of a low option there. Had to throw it up into the heavens. So I've got this, certainly on the second half, right to left. Yeah, kind of like one off two. One in or out. Uh, out's okay, mate. Thank you. Great line again. Just that last bit, a bit uphill, just took that pace off it. Well, it's a par, tricky hole out of the way. Just feel like finding a little bit of an equilibrium. Let's get some birdies. Par four. Dog leg left, 440 yards. Just gotta keep it up, a little off the, off the right side, either hug the tree line on the left or be out just left of the palm trees on the right. Feel like a tiny draw against this wind might work? Right off that palm tree on the right side. Don't think I can hit a little draw better than that? I feel I can get that shot in my locker for the summer as well, those Lynx courses. Little, <laughs> oh, little fade. Genuinely excited about golf this year. I'm so looking forward to playing in these comps again. Ah, 158, uh, wind kind of helping off the left maybe a touch. Pins in the back. Feeling like a solid wedge would probably get there, but again, I don't want to really get it above the tree, so I'm thinking that little nine iron. Green kind of narrows up towards the top. It's kind of, it's pretty wide open in the front. Yeah, so a little nine, kind of hit it. That bunker by Jacob on, on his right side. Mm -hmm. Just basically at that, touch a draw. Keep off it, wind. Ah! Ah! Didn't quite catch it. Just a bit thin, didn't get that draw. Fine, I mean, it's fairway screen, but if we want to get back to level, we want that gold medal I need. Need some birdies. That sun, look at that sun creeping through the Spanish moss on the trees, bathing the fairways in that slanted sunlight you can only get at this time of the evening. That's just what we live for, isn't it? Surely this is one of the reasons, look at that. Surely this is one of the reasons why we play golf, the views like that. Sun in the sky, great. Overhead, beautiful beaming sunshine, super. But not this, this is, this is it. This is where you want to be. So, right to left, up the hill. Where are you thinking, bud? About there. Let's see if I concur. Oh, I actually get it a little bit more. But I trust you. <laughs> oh, just too firm. Just blasted it through. Sounds quite weird. I struck that really well. Really well. Like, out of the screws on the putter. Just took off. So we saw it go left to right past the hole. So now it's going to dribble a little bit that way. <sighs> Solid, eh? Solid as a rock. You know what I really didn't like that? How silent everyone was. <laughs> Did you feel there was like a degree of expectation on that? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm, I got this, <laughs> right? Got this. Like a double bit to the right side. This is just a, it's actually relatively wide open, like compared to some of the other courses here. This is just straight down the middle with a bomb if it cuts a little bit. Cool. Very hard. Well, that hit a middle wicket somewhere. Kicked off something. Felt really good over that. It's okay. I mean, yeah. hopefully we've got a little bit of a gap we can. Just canoodle it through. That's right. It's a new word. 
Skanoodle. Skanoodle. To fit through a tight gap or opening when playing golf. <laughs> got 136 bar. left. Um, 136. Literally with no realistic line through there. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna pitch out. Give myself a chance to get up and down. It's either, cool, we could take a risk and try and fly it through that. But we're not gonna. <laughs> Because that's going to be leaving too much of a chance. Just a pitch wedge. Try and get it out to the fairway here. You are joking me. Don't go. Stay on the fairway. That, one, that was crazy. That, that would have been one of those, again, just, oh, thanks. You know, we're just going to give you this massive stroke of misfortune again. <laughs> As we walk past, it was like a route like that, and it must have hit the top if it hit the inside of it. Wow. 85. Beautiful sun coming through now. This is great. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't actually a very good lie, that. Kind of weirdly sat down. If it was me, I'd putt it. Uh, I don't know, I kind of fancy just chipping this over the edge and letting it trundle. Go. Mm. You're trying to chip it in. That means you got to get it to the hole. If you don't get it to the hole, it's not going to go in. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy hole. That has felt very comfortable on the tee shot. Right, so we have how many holes left? Six holes left to get three birdies. Gales back to level. I mean, listen, six holes to get six birdies, but we've got a par five in there as well. We've got some real tough holes. And as this round progresses, as we get to 16, it all opens up. We get out to the sea, see the lighthouse. Got all that to come. Okay, three birdies from here. I'm feeling it, you know? I'm feeling it I'm too. I'm feeling it. I feel it too. I'm remarkably positive after that bogey. So we've got 378 yards. And it is only short, but boy, oh boy, is it tight, is it tactical. I'm gonna take a hybrid, and I've got to play it to the right-hand side of the fairway to open up a green which is surrounded, nay, defended, nay, fortified with an array of hazards. So, accuracy is key, and that is what I'm gonna deliver with a hybrid. Um, wind? No? Okay. That is position Z. I, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Very, I tell you. Very awkward. Jacob's going up to the green. I don't know what he's expecting. Is Jesus Christ here to perform a miracle? <laughs> no. Hey, take a risk. Play like the branch isn't there. To be honest, like 93 yards. Yeah. It should be enough that, that could get a little bit of a hook with a lob. Yeah, you could probably come right through here off this off the yeah. side of this tree and just a little draw. If I, I, can I feel little... like that would be your best best play right there. I mean, obviously, if you finish your short, I'm going to be in that bunker. I don't want to hit the well here. The sleeper. I'll tell you how far it is to the front. Seventy two. Seventy two. So it's only going to be like a. Sorry, what was it to the pin? Eighty three. Ninety three. Ninety three. Wind is right to left, kind of helping. Advantage of being in like a waste area as well. If I do trap it, should be able to get like a fair amount of spin. It's just gonna have to, just gonna have to play it quite close to the tree. So mm -hmm. that kind of tall pine, which you can see just sticking up to the right. I'm gonna like go at that, try and hook a bit. I wanna land this a little bit long, a little bit right of the pin, and then hopefully, hopefully rip it back. Absolute zero hook. Might as well just put it. Oh, to trudge. Wow, that's a, that's a hell of a bunker shot. Semi-plugged. Put that right at the front of my stance. Rip it down, open it up. Wow, it came out unbelievably well. Um, yeah. Right, so, I doubt it. Sure. You're a, you're a good egg. 
You're a good egg. Uh, I feel a lot. Yeah, it was just like a semi, not a plug, but the ball was sat a little bit down, so just skidded through. A little bit onto this way. Yeah, looking off like just into there. here. I feel like the wind might hold it up a little bit. Okay. So See maybe that. closer to the cup, but it's definitely going to come off and go this way. But yeah, I'm looking somewhere like right in this know. area. Love that. This golf course is just test after test after test after test. So very, very disappointing bogey there. One, six, five off this tee to this par three, but it's straight back into draft and off the right. I mean, it's six iron. There's obviously no prizes for being short here. Does that wall go around the back of the green as well? Mm -mm. Nope. No. Okay. So if I hit a six iron center, should be enough, just like a low one. Just let it drift a touch. Well, that was safe with a capital S. Oh, that's good fun. That's great. That's really good. That's great. That's, that's great. Down slope, tight sandy lie over a child's play pit. Onto a down slope. It gets better. Uh, there's water after the down slope as well. That's just fascinatingly interesting, isn't it? Wow. It's kind of tempted to hit it over there because I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stop it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely got to be soft about it. It's going to roll pretty hard. If it hits that down slope, it'll take off. And then you're risking going in here. Like, I don't really... Basically just get it to the fringe. Yeah. It's very nice from there. Yeah, I, I'd, I, would I, take, I don't think I could have done anything yeah, better than that. that so. all day. I honestly don't know. Please get into the comments below if that is the worst or the best bunker I've ever seen in my life. I'm right on the edge. Like, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle, I must admit. It feels like it's just gonna... Just slightly, just very ever so slightly. Just move off that edge. You are an in-control golfer. Golf is a game. Oh, hey, 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 it's fun knowing it. Hey, this game. <laughs> hey, that is fun. It ain't great fun. Hey, we're all having a good time. We're having a good time. That's five over par. That's three bogeys in a row. Just when I actually felt I was feeling a bit more comfortable. Four holes remaining, four holes remaining. Four holes remaining. Yes, sir. I need to get back to four to get silver. Let's get it back to three. If we get it back to two, that'd be fantastic. And I think that'd be for the first time playing here off the back tees in this wind. Some of the best golf I've probably played. So, come on. Par five, so a chance for a birdie. Oh, eight. Wait one moment, it's 590 yards. But you know, I'm a big boy. It's in, it's a 40 mile an hour wind. It's all right. The golf clubs are gonna, they're gonna smile on me on this hole. A little draw down that fairway. Love that. Yeah. I'm not going to waste it much better than that, to be fair. We want to get in before it gets dark. We want to get to these last few holes. We want a few birdies. Come on, kids. Let's finish strong. 295 left to the pin. Cool. All right, so driver hybrid should leave me a five iron in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so hard. This is such... I don't, wow, okay. Oh. 
Uh, well, it does literally feel like I'm teeing off again. This is <laughs> this is tough. I mean, it's a fantastic, it's kind of the whole point, obviously, it's a PJ Tour venue, we're off the tips. It's a real test, like a real, real test. It might be maybe a little bit too much for me. 112. Pin is dead front. Okay. You got room over to the right on the other side of that bunker face, and you got the downhill slope to the left. Of the Just pin. keep it slightly right, if anything. Yeah, slightly right is better than left. It's huge. Yeah, I think it's right behind the pin, but a little bit long. Yeah. Looks incredible. Right. So big out left, got to swing in. Again, just pace here on this one. Yeah. All right, online, mate, with me. Good. <laughs> that was a great putt. That was an amazing putt. Oh, oh the golf course can really go swivel at the moment. Three holes left. I'm going to throw up a silent prayer to them for, just give me a break, you know what I mean? Just a little one. Just give me some of these last three holes, which are the most spectacular on the whole course. Basically, those two trees on the right, which you draw, again, 440 into wind here. You absolute. <sighs> you see that? Yep. yep, cool. Just a great shot. Just went two inches too far right. High needles, give it a little nudge, took about 30 yards off it. But you know what? We're having a good time. You know what I mean? We're having a good time. 156. 156. Wind is going to be helping on this one. Down off the right, 156. So I'm just going to hit a wedge just to the right of the pin. Wind should move it a little bit to the left-hand side. This means that 18 is going to be playing straight back into the wind. Now, in a normal tournament conditions, when it's not well, normal tournament conditions, in conditions that aren't this windy, we're looking at about a driver eight. Today it's going to be playing 480 straight back into the tee, like a par five. Should we switch over to a par 72? Do you think they'll take the mind? Less said about that one, the better, I think. Let's just ignore that one. We don't need to talk about that one. Big bailout. Need a birdie, and what do you do? You go, <laughs> Oh, now this is, this is tough. Long bunker shot and downwind. Yeah, we'll have to play this a little bit more like a bunker shot here. Waste area, so I can grab my club. Do not kick that way. Oh, I kind of pitch that on line with the distance that I wanted. I can't speak. I think the wind is going to hold it. A little bit right to left, but wind's holding yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, wind's going to hold it up. Wind's probably going to hold it up uh, going left to right, but it's right to left to the hole. I think you should equalize it straight. Yeah, I think it might still drip a little bit this way. Yeah, just right edge. Inside yeah. right? Yeah, I think, I think. I really would say like inside the cup on this one, like just inside the right edge. Thought that was gonna. Hey, hey, heck. Oh, let's go. Living heck. Should have been looking out the windows around this. I, I didn't know we'd open up a new airport. Here we go. 195 pin. Just need to hit like a, not even a full A time, just like a decent, solidly struck straight at it. <sighs> Bunker. Very, very frustrating, but. The beautiful hole, the beautiful part of the course. It's just it's weird how suddenly it's just like whew, open. Like we've been in a, 
the jungle all day. And now we're in this beautiful open part of the uh, course. Maybe a touch left to right from here? Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit. Splash it onto the green, should release out. Turn. Oh, I thought I did that so well. I, honestly, I hit that. See that little spin it took to the right? I was almost going to call that then. I was almost <laughs> out of my hand up and I was willing to give it a go. Oh, I really want to. Oh, oh. Must focus inside right. Come on, come on, come on. Two good putts in a row here. Where did that just come from? See that? That was an involuntary fist pump. Just came out. Just like, it's like a little fist pump twitch. This is like, this is the impossible. Like to birdie this last hole in these conditions. Ah, like that'd be an all time. Just look at this. Arguably it's the widest fairway in golf. Arguably off this tee in this wind, they might not reach it. We're gonna give it a go. Okay, at the lighthouse. Well, just at a right of it. Let that light flash around again. Possible birdie on this hole today. Come on. That's where you wanted it. Yeah, it's only going to be another driver off the deck in. Should be good. Pretty much straight at it. Need a birdie to get that silver. Not a clue. Is it, yeah. It's just hazard up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's just hazard. Oh, well, uh, didn't ideally want to be in it. Um, as the water creeps ever higher. I just want to say a huge thank you to watching. Um, it's been amazing. Finishing in this dramatic darkness is something else as well. Um, looks like we're going to be finishing with a bronze. But around this course, first time, a great. A huge thank you to Nick as well for following me around. Giving me sage advice. Remember when we chipped in at Pinehurst? Did you know it's time again? Actually, a really good shot from there. <laughs> that seems to have a lot of spin on it, that. Yeah, I think it's set. Can't really see what this is doing, but I think if anything, it's going to move this way. A little bit left to right. Yeah. Left edge. That's a shove. That's a one of them. <laughs> oh, closing bogey, but you know what? We'll survive. Mate. Sir. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so, so much for that. Really, Thank really you. appreciate it. Absolutely. Wow. It's all finished in the dark. Oh, I think I deserve a Harbour Town beer after that. What, a, what an amazing punishment I've just put myself through. <laughs>